All right, so the big cans are a little bit harder to crush than the little cans because they're just made to be stronger. They're made out of more material. Um, one thing you need to keep in mind with the big can is that it's going to be a little bit harder to displace all of the air, all the oxygen and nitrogen in, inside the can. So I put a little bit more uh, water in the big can than I do in the little can, but that doesn't necessarily matter as much. You just need to give it more time to boil so that the, you know, the water vapor can displace all of the oxygen and the nitrogen. All you want to have inside of this can when you flip it over is water vapor. And one thing that's really key to making sure that all you have inside of here is water vapor is making sure this top is almost completely closed. You want it to you want to get it as closed as you can. Just a very very small opening left open for all the gas to come out of. So it's definitely boiling now. We've got steam coming out the top. But I don't think that all of the oxygen and the nitrogen has been displaced yet.
remember to keep the top tab as closed as you can, as small an opening as you can get, and remember to allow it to boil long enough to displace all of the oxygen and nitrogen originally inside the can. All you want inside the can is water vapor.